Hello friends, welcome. Now the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial about Laravel is testing. If you go to the Laravel documentation, here we have a testing, getting started. Okay. And you can read the documentation. So the testing environment variables may be configured in your application in the PHP unit.xml file. And if we go here, we have this uh, PHP unit text in XML file. And here is the PHP app name, bcrypt rounds, cache driver, the DB connection if you, if you want to use the database and use the SQLite in the memory. So don't touch your database. But uh, I'm going to stick with the database because this is a new application and just I'm going to test to show you. And creating a test is by running PHP artisan make colon test and give it a name. Or you, if you want to make a unit test, you can say PHP artisan make test, the name and the flag dash dash unit. Or if you want to use best PHP, now I have created a full tutorial about this in this channel. If you want to go and check that, how we can make a test in our Laravel with best PHP elegant framework. So let's go and start with our project. So in the, our project, when we navigate here, right now we don't have any posts in my database. I have clean all. So we don't show here the posts and we don't have any text, but let's uh, change this. So in the resources, views, welcome. Here we have for each post and I'm going to add an H1 here and say welcome, just to show to you. Yeah, here it is. And now let's go and make a test to see if this is if the welcome page is working correctly. And here is we have an example for unit test, test basic test, and this assert true is true. And we can run the PHP unit test. So vendor bin PHP unit or PHP artisan test. Okay, now uh, here we have for the database. Now, if you go to the HTTP test, console test, browser test, database, and so on. So go to the HTTP test. And just, here we have an example, test the basic request, the response, this get. So when we go to the slash, so it's mean when we go to the home page. Assert status 200. See if the status is 200, and if that work, it's going to return green, which means is okay. And you can go and read all the documentation for more. We have a console test. So PHP. So around the artisan. Inspire which assert exit code zero or one. Also, we have a browser test, database test. We need to use the use refresh database, so we are going to create store uh, data in database only for this example test, and when we this test is finished, it's going to remove that record from the database. So let's go and create one test for us. In the terminal, I'm going to say PHP artisan make test and I'm going to make the name it welcome. I'm going to check for the welcome page if it will work or not. Welcome test. And now if we go in the tests folder feature here is the welcome test and we have the test example response here we 
act this get slash and response assert status 200. Now to run this test, we need to run either the PHP artisan test or the vendor bin PHP unit. I have make an alias for that. So I'm just going to run the U test, which means the PHP unit test. And now we can see we have OK, one test and one assertion. Now, if I make uh, some changes here, so this get to the test, but we don't have that route in our project. So inside the routes, web route, we have only the slash, but uh, this one we don't have. So it's not going to search status 200. Let's make a test again, unit u test. And you can see now there was one failure which means field asserting that 200 is identical to 404. We have a 404 not found. Let's remove this back again. And if we go here in our project, we can, we have another page. So the contact page. And let's check also if this is working correctly. So I'm going to copy this one duplicate it and let's rename this not test example but I'm going to save the test the welcome page works and the same thing here now make sure you be as much as a descriptive here to see the test so what is about this one? So this is test the welcome page works. This one is test the contact page works. And here now the response is going to be this get slash contact and assert status is going to be 200. Let's go and run the test again you test and we can see now we have okay two tests and two assertion let's clear this up and we if we go to the http tests here we have the available assertions go there and you can see assert cookie assert created missing download exact json and so on header assert redirect assert c and here is the assert c text so let's work with that i'm going to check if we see the contact in the contact form and also the welcome in the welcome page okay so let's work with this assert c text i'm going to do here dollar sign this uh, response sorry and say assert the text and welcome in the welcome page and let's copy that is that in and as it sees text uh, contact in here if i save and let's run the test again you test we have two assertions uh, two tests four assertion and failure we have one contain welcome but we have the welcome here if we go and see we have a welcome but we have a w uppercase and here we add lower so let's say w uppercase now and if i run again it's going to pass and now we have two tests for assertions so you need to add exactly what we have in here 
Okay, friends, that's it. The basic tests about Laravel, how to check the pages. And see you in the next video. If you like a content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It's going to help me a lot. Thank you and see you next.